What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to just do a quick little video on an installation of a new buffer weight and spring which is honestly like the easiest thing to do on an AR-15. It's like a five minute job. Not even that. It'd probably take me five minutes though. And the point I'm, the reason I'm doing this is to slow my bolt carrier group down some because being suppressed it is moving so fast and that's okay because it's going to run reliably for the most part um, but I want to get my ejection pattern from the 1 o'clock area to about the 3, 4 o'clock area and that's going to make the gun shoot better um, better ejection like I just said obviously uh, less wear and tear on it and you know maybe even some little some less felt recoil but the main reason I'm doing it is, is to fix the ejection pattern and have the gun just running perfectly. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is pop these pins out. I got I just cut my fingernail, so bear with me. I can't get it. Alright, take her off. So what you want to do is is right in here, back to your where you see it, there's your buffer weight right there. There's a little pin right there. And all you got to do is push that pin down and it'll pop right out and just pull it right on out just like that all right that was, we don't want that one we don't care about that one so I will tell you before you install this into your gun make sure that the spring is seated all the way to the end of that there you don't want to put it in sitting like that or anything you want it locked in nice and nicely. That way it holds good, which it would probably do it anyways, but you get what I'm saying. Better safe than sorry. And really, all you got to do is, is just shove her back in there, baby. Shove her right back in, and when you push it in, that pin will pop itself back up. And there you have it. You've changed your buffer weight and spring. And then all there's left to do is stick it back in, pop them pins back in, and then fill it. You can fill it, and that's it. Stay tuned. I'm going to post a video in the next couple days of me shooting with both of them. That way I can show you guys the ejection pattern and just see how much better it shoots. I'm hoping that will make it shoot way better. I'm sure it will. It didn't shoot bad to begin with, but that's just the game when you're suppressing a firearm. Sometimes you want to do a little bit of tuning on it just to make it shoot perfectly for you. So if you spend all this money on it, you might as well spend a little more and play around, get it right. But yeah, anyways, thank you for coming. I hope this helps somebody out there because, you know, not everyone knows what to do. It's really a simple thing, though. And it's very easy. Do not pay anyone to do that. It's, it's the easiest thing in the world. Stay tuned for the next video, and thank you for checking in. Have a good day.